Hey what's up guys it's Kazooie here and uh, welcome to a bit of a different video today I'm gonna be answering some questions about FIFA 15 uh, with Bateson87 you probably know him if you don't know him then there will be a link in the description down below so you can check out his channel uh, we also did a previous video a previous uh, kind of episode of this so you can check that one out on his channel as well so um, yeah Bateson say hi if you want to hi guys so um, I'm a FIFA skiller yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> all right so um, we're gonna be answering some questions uh, Bateson tweeted out a hashtag which was uh, Bateson of a bait uh, kazooie so um yeah we're just gonna answer some of them and um yeah hopefully we uh, we uh, we will answer them correctly i guess but uh, anyway the yeah. first question is from uh from akil or something uh he asked me um or asked us um are the new skill moves introduced and there actually are two new skill moves uh one was on the uh, world cup game on the old consoles on the xbox 360 and the ps3 uh, which was called the spin. I know, pretty basic name, <laughs> but um, I, love, I love how they just call uh, this. Yeah, and there's also another one which you will see on your screen right now, which I think is the reverse elastico chop, but I'm not really too sure about that one. Um, have you seen the new skill moves already? Uh, Tom used, I think it was a spin he used on me. It it was overpowered. I don't know if, if it's going to be uh, used a lot throughout the year, but it, it, he absolutely did. Because one, I didn't know there was any new skill moves in the game, and he completely did it with me. Um, but yeah, what do you think about it? Do you think it's going to be a strong power move to use this year? I think the spin is going to be a very, very, uh, I think, overused skill move this year because it's only uh, for four-star skillers and obviously five-star skillers as well. So I think, Is it easy to do? Yeah, it's actually really easy to do. It's like, um, you have to, um, not really too sure how you say it, but you have to, the controls are basically the old Ronaldo chop from FIFA 10. Ah. So it's like you have yeah. to flick it diagonally, I think, down or something. But, um, That's going to be really easy to do then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. So, um, yeah, looking forward to, to use those. And uh, like I said, the uh, the other one is, I think, the reverse elastico chop, which is a five-star skill move. It's pretty difficult to pull off. Um, I'm most likely going to make a tutorial about uh, that one uh, when the full game is released. So, um, yeah, that's something you can uh, you look forward to. Um, the second question, uh, when does the FIFA 15 web app start? Um, I'm not really too sure. Do you know anything about that? No, uh, I remember last year I was I was actually in Florida when it got released. It got released at a weird time. No one expected it to happen. Um, but the only thing you can do on there really is is build teams and make a few small coins. Uh, but I know at the start of FIFA myself, I'm going to be just opening a shed load of packs and getting that done to get my yeah. coins up. <laughs> Have you made any uh, more accounts? Maybe two or three more or something? Uh, I've only got my well. I've, I've the, the way my accounts are set up. I've got one wager account, which is like money, just sat there in case I lose and stuff. Uh, but I've got my main account, which is obviously loaded with players and uh, coins, and it's gonna be loaded with FIFA points in the next couple of weeks as well. Okay, nice. Uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, what is it like to do basic skills like the Ronaldo chop, the McGeady spin? And is the scoop turn OP this year? Um, it is. I guess most of the skill moves are really, really useful when it comes to uh, when it comes to just dribbling because dribbling is really good this year on uh, on FIFA 15. That's something I noticed straight away. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess uh, the basic skill moves are going to be very good this year as well, just like on uh, on FIFA 14. There, there was one one move I struggled with, and it was the um, rainbow flick. For some reason, I couldn't do it. I don't know where I was rushing yeah, or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, it's pretty unpredictable. I think they introduced that in FIFA 12. They kind of changed it, but ever since it was, I think it's uh, yeah, it's pretty difficult to pull them off sometimes. At least, yeah. at least that's uh, what I experienced with skill moves. Um, so yeah, uh, let's move on to the uh, to another one. Uh, what's Thomas Muller's position? And is he a striker? Um, I'm not really too sure about he that. He was a he was a central player, but I can't remember. It remember whether he was a striker or a cam and I can't remember his uh, rating either I really it's, it's one of the things where you wish you'd have gone back and looked at it but then again it could change anyway because all the uh, stats are final yeah exactly um, moving on um, are skill runs easier and more effective than in FIFA 14 I guess we already kind of answered that question but when it comes to dribbling and stuff, it's it's better, I think, this year. So I guess yeah, we... it just depends how people learn to defend and adapt to defending the game. Uh, because when we were we were playing against novices anyway, like the likes of Tom, you you were playing against your friend quite a lot as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the more we play, the more easy we'll find it to defend. But hopefully, the skill moves stick to how they were when we played it. Um, is the game all about pace and strength again? Um, I guess it's. I think a mixture. I think yeah. I guess it's. I'd I'd say more dribbling now this this year. Yeah, but if, if you have to, I think 
uh, choose between those two, I guess, but I don't know. I, I would go with defending. I would definitely go with strength yeah. attacking. It's obviously going to be pace again. But last year, I said strength was a major, major factor um, when I played at Gamescom. And guess what happened? The build changed and uh, <laughs> I got made to look like a bloody idiot because it was about strength when we played it then. All right. Um, do you experience a lot of loose ball touches or does it stick to your foot? Um, I guess it's kind of the same to FIFA 14. Yeah, I did notice, because I played a lot of games in rain, that the ball was a lot more unpredictable ah, yeah, in yeah. rain, as always. Um, and when the player gets a bit tired as well, it seemed to do like really terrible bad uh, touches. And the players I was using, like the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona, you wouldn't expect that to happen anyway. Yeah. But it might just be in the way of me adapting to uh, FIFA 15 anyhow. Alright, um, are you ball mechanics? What the hell? <laughs> are the ball mechanics different this yeah. year, such as uh, more swerve? Uh, the, the ball they felt different on over the top three balls they look a lot better as well but yeah. I don't know if they're going to be as strong um, they're unpredictable I, I guess compared to 14 yeah the ones from the defence of the attack are but yeah. I don't know about any any other ones now alright um, with talks of Messi being a virtual player will Barcelona finally be an elite team in seasons um, I guess they are because Messi is actually very very good this year on, on FIFA 15. I guess he's definitely going to be um, one of the better players alongside Ronaldo, Ibrahimovic, those kind of players. But uh, yeah. yeah. I think PSG might struggle as a team as a whole, though. They haven't really got. Um, well, I don't know, actually. They've got David Luiz now, haven't they? could be a dirty yeah. team. <laughs> but the midfield seems a bit. Yeah, the midfield is maybe miss, a little bit weak. Yeah, Barcelona's set up with Suarez, Neymar, Messi, and then you've got the likes of Rakitic and, and uh, the defence as well. It's going to be a strong team for seasons. Yeah, definitely. All right. Um, what are the over-the-top through balls and crossing like in FUT 15? Still OP. Um, I don't really know. I haven't played much of FUT 15. I only you played played 25 games, Alex. Like yeah, but I only played season physically, <laughs> so I haven't really played Ultimate Team when it comes to gameplay and stuff because um, yeah, we couldn't play that on two cons or one console, I think, against each other, which was a shame. Yeah. But um, I guess Bateson played. Played some. Yeah, uh, I was playing against Tom, Jesse, and you know what them both are like running down the wings. <laughs> and the, the crossing was like dead unpredictable. It felt like it was a manual, even though it wasn't. Um, and hopefully it stays like that in the game as well, because we all hate dominating games and they just run down the wing, whip it in header, even though I do it quite a bit in wage matches. But it's uh, something which would be nice if it is taken out this year. Yeah. All right, moving on to the, what's going to be the final question. Uh, are cross the body shots still OP? Um, I guess they're less OP this year. Yeah, yeah. well, long shots in general seem uh, less, uh, less overpowered, which is a shame. I just can't wait to adapt to them because uh, it looks like if the keeper's going to stay broken, you can score some amazing goals for compilations. Yeah. You know, I don't do them, but it should be nice for squad builders anyway. All right, guys, so um, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then uh, make sure to leave a like. would be appreciated, as always. Uh, also, check out the first uh, video we did uh, on Basin's channel. Uh, like I said at the start, the link is in the description down below. So um, that's going to be it. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.